KSJE and the Farmington Public Library present Quintos Hana and Tales. Hello and welcome to Quintos Hana and Tales. My name is Melanie Leeson and I work at the Farmington Public Library. Today I am going to be reading several different books all about trucks. The first one is Go Little Green Truck by Ronnie Schotter. Little Green was proud as a pickup could be. His tires were sturdy and strong, his bumpers rubbery and thick. When his grill and front fenders were polished, he shone. Little Green loved helping Farmer Gray and his family with chores. When Farmer Gray took him to the gas station, Little Green hummed with excitement. He liked feeling full of gas. His rear end loaded with bundles, bales, and bins, sputter sput sput. Little Green was ready, ready to rumble down the road. He was set, set for adventure. Go! He picked up packages from the post office and groceries from the supermarket. He carted corn and soybeans to the silo and hay to the barn. One special day with Farmer Gray and his daughter Fern along to help. He picked up two pot-bellied pigs and hauled them home to their new sty. Little Green was a happy, busy little truck until early one morning. Ur-ra-ra-ra, Little Green awakened to the sassy sound of a motor. Farmer Gray climbed out of a new blue truck. I'm the biggest, I'm the bluest, I'm the best, the new truck seemed to brag. It was true. Big Blue had more room, more room for hay, more room for corn. She had so much room that she could carry many pigs, even goats and cows. Farmer Gray looked happy. Farmer Gray looked proud. His farm was growing bigger and busier. Now, instead of taking Little Green to help with the chores, Farmer Gray took Big Blue. Look how she loads, he said, patting Big Blue's side. Now, instead of filling Little Green at the gas station, Farmer Gray left him in the meadow. Day after day, through rain and shine, Little Green sat by himself, empty and alone, with only butterflies and birds to keep him company. Months passed. Little Green turned rusty and dirty and sad. One spring day, after a prowl through the muddy meadow, Farmer Gray's cat jumped into Little Green's cargo bed and curled up to sun herself. Fern followed after to find her. Missing Little Green, she too curled up in the cargo bed. Farmer Gray followed to find Fern. Farmer Gray's wife followed to find Farmer Gray. Several chickens, the pot-bellied pigs, some goats and sheep, and the family dog followed, so they wouldn't be left out. Papa, Fern said, spring is here. There's a new farmer's market in town. Big Blue is too big and bumpy for city streets. Little Green is small and gentle and just right. Let's fix him up and take him. Great idea, Farmer Gray said. So the next day, Fern and Farmer and Mrs. Gray rubbed and scrubbed Little Green until he sparkled. They changed his old rusty engine to a shiny new one. Instead of gas, they filled him with corn and soy oil from their vegetables. Fern painted pictures of flowers, farm animals, and fruit on Little Green's sides. When Farmer Gray turned on Little Green's new engine, Little Green hummed again, a happy, hopeful tune. Farmer Gray drove Little Green to the front of the farmhouse. He and Fern put jars of Mrs. Gray's pickled treats and crates of spring vegetables into Little Green. Spinach, asparagus, and baby lettuce leaves. Now inside and out, Little Green was full of vegetables. Look how he loads, Farmer Gray said, patting Little Green's side. 
Are we ready? Little Green was ready. Ready for adventure. He was set. Go. On the highway to the farmer's market, Little Green passed other trucks. A tow truck, a dump truck, a garbage truck, and a digger. All of them, like Little Green, busy with their chores. A few tooted their horns or blew their whistles when they passed Little Green and saw how good he looked. At the farmer's market, everyone gathered to admire Little Green and the pictures Fern had painted on his sides. People bought Farmer Gray's fresh vegetables and Mrs. Gray's pickled ones. Children climbed on Little Green to play and munch pickles on a stick. Smiling grown-ups sat to chat. Little Green was the hit of the farmer's market. From then on, Farmer Gray used Big Blue for his big, heavy jobs, but he always used Little Green for his smaller, gentler ones. In the summer, Little Green carted corn and tomatoes to his new friends at the farmer's market, and, oh so carefully, the chicken's eggs and Mrs. Gray's perfect peach pies. In fall, he carried potatoes, squash, and eggplant, purple as autumn skies. Whatever the season, when Little Green showed up at the farmer's market, everyone cheered. And Little Green, he was happy, proud as a pickup could be. And that was Go Little Green Truck by Ronnie Schotter. The next book is called Red Truck by Kirsten Hamilton. Red truck is a tow truck, a work truck, not a show truck. Ring, ring, falling rain, melting snow, a rising creek, our bus won't go. Start up, red truck. Can red truck make it up the hill? Red truck can, red truck will. Zoom! Other trucks can't cross the mud. Red truck tried. Red truck could. Splush. Slipping, sliding down the slope. Red truck is our only hope. Hurry, red truck. Hooks are on. Chains are tight. Pull, red truck, with all your might. Pull. Downshift, pedal floored, tire spin, red truck roars. Vroom! Splishy, splashy, wet hooray, our hero for the rainy day is red truck. The end. That was Red Truck by Kirsten Hamilton. The next book is called Zoom, Zoom. Sounds of Things That Go in the City by Robert Burley The city is asleep. Wake up, city! Shake up, city! Let's get moving. Hey, everyone, let's get grooving. Night is over, sun's aglow. Garbage trucks, joggers, time to go. Good morning, city! Cars in traffic sway and swerve. Over, under, watch that curve. Convertible, ambulance, limousine. Red light, orange light, yellow, green. Work time, city. Vans pick up cement trucks, too. Easy does it, coming through. Juice it up, we're in a hurry. Get it finished. Scurry, scurry. Good job, city. Catch an L train way up high, bricks and windows flashing by. Watch the wheels whirl and spin, riders out and riders in. Lunchtime city. Look, yikes, a fire truck. Wheeling, reeling, whee! Good luck. Firemen race to save the day, but we can't stop. We're on our way. Go, city. Bus comes rocking, whoops, jump, squeeze inside, sit down, bump, bump, step on it, driver, show some speed, rock it, roll it, take the lead, school's out, city. Hop the subway way below, 
Tunnels winding. Go, go, go. Rip and roar, but we don't care. Whatever works, just get us there. Playtime city. Downhill, uphill, skateboard flipping. Whir and whiz, spin, get zipping. Motorcycle rubber burning. Lean left, lean right, twisting, turning. Fun time city. Through the park to the other side. Bicycle whirring, what a ride. Ice cream truck music, feel the beat. Get me home, it's time to eat. Dinner time city. Hail that taxi zooming by. Let's go cabbie, let it fly. City hopping, razzmatazz. Neon flashing, jive and jazz. Party time city. Tired dancers slowly walking, subway riders softly talking. Last train empties, day winds down, all is quiet in the town. Sleepy time, city. Good night, city. Good night. And that was Zoom, Zoom, Sounds of Things That Go in the City by Robert Burley. The next book I'm going to read is called Super Truck by Stephen Savage. The city is full of brave trucks. The bucket truck fixes a power line. The fire truck puts out a blaze. The tow truck rescues a bus. The garbage truck, he just collects the trash. One evening, it starts snowing. It snows and snows and snows. The city is caught in a terrible blizzard. Just then, the garbage truck sneaks into the garage and becomes super truck. He digs out the west side. He digs out the east side. He digs out the whole city. Hooray for Super Truck! The next morning, the trucks wonder about the mighty truck who saved them. Where could he be? He's just collecting the trash. The end. And that book was called Super Truck by Stephen Savage. The next book I'm going to read is called Three Grumpy Trucks by Todd Tarpley. Across the sandbox, down the slide, through the sprinkler, side by side, three little trucks were scooping, shifting, grating, grinding, loading, lifting. Whirr, whirr, whirr. Womp, womp, womp. Grind, grind, grind. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Hours later, bright sun beating, three tired engines overheating, fuel gauges running low. Little trucks, it's time to... No! We're still digging. We're still lifting. We're still grinding. We're still shifting. Five more minutes, let us stay. Okay? 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 Okay. Whirr! Womp! Grind! Chomp! Hoses hissing, warnings beeping, red lights flashing, fluid seeping, fuses now about to blow. Little trucks, it's time to... No! Must keep digging, must keep lifting, must keep scooping, must keep shifting. Tires smoking, engines glowing. Must keep, must keep, must keep going. Please, little trucks, it's time to go. Your temp's too high, your fuel's too low. Your windshield fluids are smelling strange. I think you need a wiper change. Okay, 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 we know. One more minute, then we'll go. One more minute, that's our plan. Everybody understand? Whirr! Whomp! Grrrr! 
Engines smoking, mortars, motors failing, tailpipes clanging, rotors flailing, rocking wildly to and fro. Little trucks, it's time to... Uh-oh. They made an awful screeching sound. They banged their bumpers on the ground. They stomped, they whomped, they sparked, they spit. They honked, they bonked, they threw a fit. What could she do, what could she say to calm them down to save the day? She soothed the little truck's alarms, then gathered them into her arms. Their undersides were caked with oil, their bumpers dark with soot and soil. She towed them home still in a daze, and then set them in their engine bays. Their spark plugs charged, their tires exchanged, their windshields washed, their wipers changed, their bumpers polished up, and then... Three little trucks word once again. The end. And that book was Three Grumpy Trucks by Todd Tarpley. The last book I'm going to share with you today is called Where's My T-R-U-C-K by Karen Beaumont. Shh, I hear my parents say. Tommy's not himself today. He lost his T-R-U-C-K. My brother says, let's climb a tree. My sister says, play house with me. But all I want to do today is find my T-R-U-C-K. I look behind my closet door. I dig through every dresser drawer. I search my brother's pile of junk. I look in Grandma's smelly trunk. And underneath the bed and chair, behind the curtain, oops, not in there. I cannot find it anywhere. My brother tosses me a ball. My sister hands me some dumb doll. My mom says it will be okay. My dad just shrugs and walks away. I want my T-R-U-C-K. I dump my toy box on the floor. I look and look and look some more. I've never lost my truck before. I go outside. Where could it be? Is it underneath the tree? In the sandbox? By the shed? Maybe in the flower bed? I climb up on the ladder. Hey, is that my T-R-U-C-K? Uh-oh. Whoa! I look again, but still no luck. Did someone steal my favorite truck? I had my red truck yesterday. A toy truck can't just drive away. I want my T-R-U-C-K. My brother hands me his green Jeep. My dad says I just need some more sleep. My sister says, come on, let's play. My mom just whispers, what a day. I want my T-R-U-C-K. I don't want Jeeps or cars or planes or boats or bikes or trikes or trains. I don't want green or blue or black. I only want my red truck back. I look once more on the lawn. My T-R-U-C-K is gone. I loved that truck. I love it still. I always, always, always will. That truck called toys and tools and rocks. Banana peels and dirty socks. Great big bones for Bowser. Wait. What's he doing by the gate? Bowser's dug a giant hole. 
Something's buried by his bowl. Something kind of red. Hooray! I found my T R U C K. Come on, Bowser. Let's go play. And that was Where's My T R U C K by Karen Beaumont. The books I read today were Go Little Green Truck, Red Truck, Zoom Zoom, Sounds of Things That Go in the City, Super Truck, Three Grumpy Trucks, and Where's My T-R-U-C-K. All of these books are available for checkout at the Farmington Public Library, and we can help you find many others. Don't forget to check the library events calendar at www.infoway.org to find out about upcoming events at the Farmington Public Library. Have a great day! This has been Quintos Hana and Tales, presented by the Farmington Public Library and KSJE 90.9 FM.